Mr. President, I rise because obviously we're talking a lot uh, today and the really the eyes of our nation are looking at what Congress is doing because there is so much negotiation uh, going on and I am one who wants to have a, a long-term uh, continuing resolution to the end of our fiscal year uh, that makes the responsible budget cuts that funds our troops and gets us on to the next item of business, which is the one that we really must address, and that is the huge debt that is facing our country. That's what we should be doing. But we are now in the throes, and I'm told that there are serious negotiations going on that we hope still will have a result before the midnight deadline. But, Mr. President, if everything breaks down, I have a bill that now has 74 co-sponsors, 74 co-sponsors in the United States Senate out of 100. And that bill is very simple, and it says if everything else falls through, even though every one that I'm talking to wants us to have that agreement that will not shut down government, that does fund our uh, Army, our Navy, our Air Force, our Marines, our Coast Guard, all of those in the Transportation Security Administration, uh, all of those uh, personnel who are waiting to see if their financial lives are going to be disrupted, um, I want to make the deadline so it will not be. However, I do have a simple bill because there are some people who are not in the United States right now who are overseas protecting our freedom. They're serving in Iraq, they're serving in Afghanistan, their loved ones are mostly at home watching what's going on, and I've been looking at the comments of the wives of the personnel uh, who are worried about what effect this is going to have on them because they've actually gotten notices that their pay is going to be cut, that it is going to be uh, less than their full pay on the 15th because they're accommodating for a potential government shutdown. Mr. President, we cannot let that happen. We can't let it happen. I have introduced Senate Bill 724. We have 74 co-sponsors. Senator Inhofe, Senator Casey stepped up right from the beginning, and now we have 74 senators ready to assure that if things break down, that we will fix this problem. I have now, uh, I have to say I'm moved, I'm very moved by uh, a website that was created by one individual today, early this morning, I think, and her name is Hope. Gwen Bradley. I didn't know her name uh, earlier today when I spoke, but she just said, I'm going to do something. I'm one person and I'm going to do something. I don't know Ms. Bradley. I don't know if she has a connection to the military, but she opened a Facebook with the name of my bill, Ensuring Pay for Our Military Act of 2011. Mr. President, as of when I left the office to come to the floor, there were 906,412 people on this website who agreed with her that we must, at all costs, alleviate any fears of our military families when they are doing so much for our country and really fighting for what we are trying to do right here. So I want to commend Hope Gwen Bradley, and I surely hope I can meet her someday, for this kind of grassroots groundswell to support our troops with a simple bill that says, if there is a government shutdown, our troops will be paid on time, full pay. That's what the bill does. 74 co-sponsors. We now have support, and I will say that Senator Rockefeller is here on the floor, my esteemed colleague, the chairman of the Commerce, Science, and Transportation Committee, and I'm going to stop in just a minute because I'm sure that you are here uh, for uh, your time in morning business. But we now have the support of 
the Military Officers Association, which is 377,000 members who sent me a letter supporting Senate Bill 724. We have the earlier National Association of Uniformed Services with 180,000 members and supporters letter signed by uh, Richard Jones, their legislative director, in support of this bill. And we have just received the Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America letter saying they strongly support Senate Bill 724. And what they say in the letter is that this bill ensures that all members of the armed forces will continue to receive the pay and allowances they have earned despite any lack of interim or full year appropriation. Our men and women in uniform protect our nation, continue to do so despite budget disagreements in Washington. The members of our armed forces are essential to the defense of our nation and must be treated as such. Many young service members and their families, and remember so many of those over there are young. They are in their 20s, so they're not in the high level of compensation. And this is what they say, and this is the Iraq and Afghanistan veterans of America. They know what they're talking about. They've been there. Many young service members and their families are dealing with multiple deployments and often live paycheck to paycheck. Military families should not be asked to bear further financial stress in addition to fighting the war on terrorism. This legislation protects the men and women who protect us. Signed, Paul Rikoff, the Executive Director of Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. They're the ones who have most recently come back, and they are, too, coming forward and saying that we must do this. So, Mr. President, I'm for the bills that would come through. I think the House bill is a good bill. The one-week uh, continuing resolution does take care of the military. But the chances of it passing here are probably nil. Uh, I think the other uh, body having a, a clean continuing resolution, I support that too. But I don't think it's going to have a chance either. So the only thing that's going to have a chance is if we get a real agreement between Senator Reid, Speaker Boehner, and the White House that we can do a long-term continuing resolution that will truly fund our troops, that will have the necessary cuts to show that we're serious about this budget deficit, and that we're going to correct the course of our country financially. And that's what we all really hope for. But if we don't get it, my bill, 724, with my 74, uh, 73 co-sponsors, our members are speaking in large numbers and saying, this is the right thing to do. And Mr. President, I hope that we can pass this bill as soon as it, as it is clear that we're not going to have a real agreement. We can do no less. Thank you, Mr. President, and I yield the floor.